Hello guys and welcome to another Applied Energy 2 video, a quick tip video, perhaps not a true tutorial. Um, I've been talking about point-to-point -point P2P tunnels uh, before, and yes they are called point-to-point. -point. Um, perhaps you haven't seen this particular... Well, I have showed this before, but I perhaps wasn't very clear about how powerful this tip is. So the problem is or the scenario is that you have your main controller somewhere in the base and you have some other part of the base where you want a lot of channels, perhaps far away on the other side of your huge base. You don't want to draw a one dense cable all the way because they are quite expensive to build and uh, I think you can, we can find a better way to do that. I demonstrated this before, P2P tunnel, P2P tunnel. So what we do with the memory card, we shift right click and then only right click here. So we have loaded the settings from there to here. Now we can actually connect the cable into the P2P tunnel and it will come out on this side. And if we want to been able to see anything we have to connect something over here like terminal for example over here we have the terminal with where or the storage we have only 63 cable anchors but this is the main storage or the rest of the network if you want and to make this completely work then we need to set up some quartz fiber and uh, give power to this network. So now you can see it's still lit up and over here as well. And look at this, we have 63 cable anchors. So this part, this is a completely separate network. It's not a part of this network. It is one network and it can hold a maximum of eight channels. So we have connected power, but no signals are going through. So this will save us, well, a lot of dense cable, that's for sure, because this cable is the same as this one, but we have no dense cable along the way. So okay, that's the, probably the, 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 the most simple part of this, of this build, but we can actually expand it. So if we place a few more like that and set more of the tunnels pop 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 and we have to do the same thing here shift right click and right click and shift right click and right click and one final shift right click and right click and now we can connect oops that's the wrong size let's use the dense ones we can have 32 channels out for from every side of the controller. So here we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13 perhaps. And when you make one bigger, of course, you can have even more. But this is how you do to connect the different sides because they can't, you can't use normal, the same color next to each other because they will connect and you won't gain any channels. And now we can do the same thing out here, connect everything and perhaps we should do like this to really demonstrate that everything is connected. 63 anchors, 63 anchors and 63 anchors. So all of these are connected to the same network over there and now we can see that this network is full. It's completely full. We have all the eight channels and still we are getting 128 channels from this side through this one and out on this side. So basically we have 128 channels on the other side of the base and the only thing we needed to draw was this thin cable. A real saver of uh, resources when you need to draw long lines instead of draw drawing four of these dense ones 
all the way across the base. You don't want to do that. So I hope this helps. And if you have any further questions, just ask me. Okay, take care. Bye-bye.